Hello Capricorn, Sun Moon Rising and Venus Signs. Kamusta kayo? Sana po yun sa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Welcome back po sa Star Taro. Kung bago kayo dito, welcome din kayo. Thank you sa inyong support. I truly appreciate it. God bless you all po. Paulo mensahe po ni Capricorn, discernment na yan. See the truth of the situation. Use common sense and do not be fooled. Pay attention, your intuition knows. Ayan. So, tignan ninyo, no? Gamitin ninyo ngayon ang iyong intuition. Follow what your intuition is telling you for you to be able to, to see the truth of your situation. Okay? Uh, wag kayong padadala sa mga... Uh, pambubudol, huwag kayong padadala sa mga panglilin lang ng ibang tao, no? Always tune into your intuition para madiscern ninyo kung yan ay totoo, kung yan ay may katotohanan, kung yan ay sincere, yung mga ganun, ano? Capricorn? Creation, napakaganda. May, may gagawin kayo dito ang bago. You are going to create something. You are going to um start something new sa buhay ninyo something fresh no may new beginning energy dito remember your thoughts shape your future your words create today your choices become your reality ayan so maybe kung ano man itong gagawin ninyo ngayon that is already the start of your manifestation ng kung ano man yung iniisip ninyo ano man yung pinaplano ninyo ano man yung ini-envision ninyo for yourself maybe you're heading towards realization or manifesting whatever it is that you were thinking no so that's really good Dignity, take pride in yourself, Capricorn. Kung ano man ang na-achieve ninyo sa ngayon, kung ano man yung um, accomplishment ninyo sa ngayon, take pride in yourself, you work hard for that. No? Sabi dito, take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices, achievements, and actions. Okay? So, what else? Partnership. Ayan. So, maybe you are going to focus on your partnership sa ngayon. Uh, Capricorn, whether that is partnership in in love, whether that is partnership ninyo with a friend, kapamilya, kung ano man yan, you are going to nurture, you cultivate that relationship ninyo with uh, with that someone. Uh, kung meron man kayong part, uh, uh, kung meron man kayong rough patch na pinagdadaanan with whoever that is, no? Uh, maaring kayo yung magi initiate ngayon ng conversation, kayo yung magi initiate ng, ng pag-aayos na ma-patch up ninyo ang inyong sitwasyon, ang inyong relationship, no? So, what else? We have awareness. Ayan. So, you are divinely guided, no? Capricorn, you are being sent uh, uh, intuitive messages ng divine universe and the rest of your spirit team. Pinapadalhan ka din ng mga signs symbols, synchronicities, omens, no, they are everywhere to guide you, no, on how you're going to navigate your situations at this time. Kaya maging aware kayo, you will know naman kung ang mga signs na yan is for you because it's going to speak to you, no. Makikita ninyo yan, mararamdaman ninyo. Let's say for example, uh, merong butterfly, no. Butterfly is one of those animals na ginagamit ng spirit realm to send you guidance, no, that is being used to to send you a uh, sign, you know. So, let's say for example, mayro kayong nakitang butterfly and that butterfly lumilipad-lipad sa paligid ninyo, nasa loob man kayo ng bahay or nasa labas kayo ng bahay, maaaring sinusundan kayo ng butterfly na yan, mararamdaman ninyo yan, mapapansin ninyo yan na that is a sign for you, no? Kaya wag kayong magalala, no? Wag kayong magalala, ano kaya to, ganito, yung mga ganon. That is a sign for you. May meron kayo may isip, meron kayo mararamdaman ng kakaiba because it will speak to you. And uh, just take note of what uh, color ng butterfly yan. Tignan niyo, i-google po niyo yan. Look for the symbolism of that butterfly. Let's say for example, white butterfly. No, So, i-google niyo, tignan niyo, ano ang symbolism? What is the spiritual meaning of that white butterfly? And yan ang meaning niyan para sa iyo. Yan ang ang mensahe ng universe para sa inyo. Okay? So, sabi dito, pay attention to the subtleties, look with the new eyes, there are signs and omens everywhere. So, we have power. Ayan, you're going to, ano, ngayon, to um, maybe reclaim your power sa ngayon, ano, maybe 
uh, for the longest time, baon na lang kayo siguro ng baon, no? Sa, sa boss ninyo, sa asawa ninyo, sa kung sino man, maybe uh, ibang tao ang nagpapatakbo ng buhay ninyo. Maaaring ganun. Or maybe uh, other people has a great influence on you at kung anong sabihin nila, yun ang susundin mo. But now, maybe you're going to reclaim your power, no? You're going to reclaim your freedom, your independence ngayon, and you are going to uh, to run your own life nasa ngayon, Capricorn. Sabi dito, call upon the elements, focus your intentions, the greatest dragon is within you. So, good luck po, and that's all I have for you for today. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste. Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Kamusta kayo? Sana po yung nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Welcome back po sa Star Tarot. Kung bago kayo dito, welcome din kayo. Thank you sa inyong support. I truly appreciate it. God bless you all. Tignan natin ang mga mensahe ninyo for today. We have nature. So, Virgo, maaaring ang iba sa inyo dito is um, invited dito to spend time outside, spend time with nature. Okay? Kasi siguro, ang karamihan sa inyo dito, Virgo, hindi naman lang kayo nakaka tampisaw sa dagat, no? Or hindi man lang kayo nakakapag-park or madalas siguro hindi naman kayo nakakalabas ng bahay. Maybe you are confined within your homes or trabaho lang, no? So, maybe office, tra uh, office home, office home lang kayo, no? So, posible ka na ng ganap dito ng iba sa inyo. Okay? You're being invited here to spend time with nature. Go outside, no? Virgo. Uh, as long as you are safe, then go for it. Sabi dito, sometimes all you need is to go outside. Breathe the fresh air to remember who you are and where you want to be. So, what else? Virgo creation. Ayan. So, yung, you're going to create something dito. This is a new beginning energy. Virgo, maaring meron kayong mga ideas that you are going to roll out sa ngayon. Maybe meron kayong mga gagawin, meron kayong mga plans na i-roll out ninyo sa ngayon. So, kung ano man yung mga iniisip ninyo, ano man yung mga ina-envision ninyo for yourself, maybe you are going to create that, you are going to manifest that in your life sa ngayon. Sabi dito, remember your thoughts, shape your future, your words create today. Your choices become your reality. So, definitely, gagawa na ninyo ng paraan ngayon. You are going to manifest no, sa 3D reality ninyo kung ano yung mga plano ninyo, ano man yung mga iniisip ninyo. So, what else for Virgo? We have healing. Ayan. So, Virgo, maybe uh, you are seeking for healing. No? Maaring meron kayong mga pananakit sa katawan, na nararanasan, may mga nararamdaman kayong mga kung ano-anong hindi maganda. Some of you also, Virgo, maybe you are a healer. Maybe, uh, ano ito sa inyo, yung parang heads up ito sa inyo, na you have healing powers, gamitin ninyo yan to serve the world, to be this, uh, to be of service to people, no? So, posibleng ganun din ang ganap dito for some of you. Sabi dito, bless all in need of healing, hope and love, spirit grant us strength and wisdom, guide us to the path of wellness. Feeling ko dito ang iba sa inyo, Virgo, maybe you are being called to be a, you know, to be a mentor, uh, you're being called to be a uh, spiritual guide, no, spiritual counselor, yung mga ganon. So, what else for Virgo? We have pilgrimage. Ayan. So, ang iba siguro sa inyo, papunta talaga sa spiritual journey, you know. Maybe ang hinahanap ninyo ngayon is anong mission ninyo sa buhay, ano yung purpose ng inyong existence, ano yung path na dapat ninyong tahakin sa ngayon. So, posible na nandudun kayo sa stage na yun. Merong spiritual awakening siguro ang iba sa inyo dito, Virgo. And as sabi dito, you are on a journey to your own greatness. Ayan. So, your soul is longing to find a way. Only you can choose your path. Ayan. So, napakahalaga napapakinggan po ninyo dito ang inyong intuition because your intuition will guide you, will send you a signal to where you need to be, to where you need to go, no? Uh, kaya ang iba sa inyo talaga dito, it, fe it feels like to me na nasa spiritual uh, awakening stage kayo at naghahanap kayo ng purpose ninyo, naghahanap kayo ng at tamang daan na tatahakin ninyo that will be in alignment with your purpose and with your destiny. 
So what else? We have gratitude. This is also a reminder for you na always practice gratitude attitude. Be appreciative of everything that you receive, everything that you have in your life. Yung kung anong meron na kayo sa ngayon, lagi ninyong ipagpapasalamat yan. And also kung meron man kayong hinihingi, meron man kayong gustong makuha, ma-receive from the divine universe. Ngayon pa lang, habang nagdadasal kayo na ganyan ang gusto ninyo, ipagpasalamat na ninyong pagkakataon na yan na, na humihingi kayo. Be grateful for abundance, live in appreciation for what you have, and more good things will come. Ayan na nga. Kasi, yung gratitude, uh, Virgo, kung nagpapasalamat kayo lagi, kung na-appreciate ninyo lahat-lahat ng nare-receive ninyo, or kung ano man ang nakukuha ninyo from the, from the universe, you know, uh, yung nagpapasalamat kayo, parang susi yan, no? Nag, nagbubukas kayo ng pinto, Uh, para sa mas maraming blessings, sa mas maraming um, uh, abundance and prosperity to come into your life. Kaya laging magpapasalamat. Okay? So, reconciliation. Ang iba sa inyo, yung healing na siguro na yan, ano, is also healing ng inyong relationship. Kasi maaaring meron kayong rough patch dito with someone. Ang nakikita ko dito kasi parang mom and ano to, ba diba? And anak. So, kung, kung alin man kayo dyan, kung kayo man ang nanay or kung kayo man ang anak, no, na merong rough patch sa kung sino man, uh, maaaring kayo dito yung magpapaka... Kayo yung mag act as the bigger person. Kayo dito yung magpapakamatured at kayo dito magpapakumbaba at kayo ang mag initiate ng conversation. Kayo yung makikipagbate no? sa mam ninyo or sa anak ninyo. Depende sa inyong sitwasyon. So sabi dito, remember the source of love. A loving action is all you need to begin the process. Reach out with a simple first step. Yan. So yung relationship ninyo dito no na medyo may may rough patch na pinagdadaanan most likely will be healed no uh, at magsisimula yan sa inyo kayo yung magsisimula ng first step kayo yung magre-reach out doon sa kung sino man ang ka rough patch ninyo sa ngayon so good luck po and that's all I have for you for today thank you for watching love and light namaste Hello, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Kamusta kayo? Sana po ay nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Welcome back po sa Star Tarot. Kung bago kayo dito, welcome din kayo. Thank you sa inyong support. I truly appreciate it. God bless you all, Taurus. Pauna mensahe po ninyo ay metamorphosis. This is such a beautiful change coming your way. ba? Diba? Kapag lumalabas yung, ano, yung, ah, uh, caterpillar sa kanyang cocoon, ba? Diba? Nagiging magandang-magandang butterfly. Kaya feeling ko dito, Taurus, ganun din ang mangyayari sa inyo, no? The metamorphosis energy is in your horizon. Mag, mag, ano na kayo dito, mag evolve into the best version of yourself. So, feeling ko, meron ditong personal transformation na magaganap sa inyo. Meron isang magandang pagbabago magaganap, magaganap sa buhay ninyo on a, on a personal level siguro, no? Trust the process and be patient. Becoming cannot be rushed. Change is beautiful. Ayan. So, matagal na ninyo siguro itong hinihintay na pagkakataon na to. And here you go. Sacred space. Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power and stillness in your sacred space is the peace you seek. Ayan. So, siguro, ang iba sa inyo laging busy, laging preoccupied. Kaya, Uh, maybe you are longing for tranquility, you are longing for serenity and peace. Kaya, para makuha ninyo yan, ano, step back a little from what is making you busy, what is draining your energy. Pahinga muna kayo, saglit lang, Toros. Talikuran nyo muna yan ng saglit lang. Mag-disconnect muna kayo sa busy world and put yourself into stillness. Mag-solitude kayo, spend time by yourself, Okay. Magmuni muni kayo magnilay-nilay, mag uh, spend time alone muna, no? Uh, spend time by yourself muna para walang makaistorbo sa inyo, makapag-focus kayo, makapakinig kayo sa inyong sarili, makapag-reconnect kayo sa inyong soul, sa inyong higher self, okay? 'Yun ang kailangan ninyo para na makalma kayo, makapag uh, rejuvenate din muna kayo, no? I-enjoy niyo muna yung inyong sarili, okay? Uh, integrity, drop the things that offend your soul, embrace your truth, it's your life, let 
no one live it for you. Ayan. So, um, alalahanin din ninyo dito, Taurus, no? Na, ang napipick up ko dito, setting up your personal boundaries. Maaaring ang iba sa inyo dito is also, yung parang nababypass kayo, or ma maaari siguro may mga nag-aabuso sa inyo, yung gano'n, no? Dahil sa inyong kabaitan, dahil sa inyong compassion, uh, compassion, maybe you're very helpful, you're very loving, you're very um, uh, supportive and helpful of, of everyone around you. Kaya parang nauabuso na kayo, no? Parang lumalagpas na sila doon sa boundary, kumbaga. Kaya parang kailangan na ninyo dito na mag-set ng personal boundaries so you would be able to uh, ano, to maintain your integrity, ma-maintain ninyo yung limitasyon ninyo kung hanggang saan lang din ang kaya ninyong or dapat ninyong itanggapin from other people, yung mga ganun ba, no? So, what else? We have a union. Ayan. So, this is partnership, no? Uh, Taurus, maaaring meron kayong partnership uh, dito na babubuo. No, bagong partnership with, with another person. Maybe this is love and romantic relationship. Maaaring this is uniting with a friend, uniting with kapamilya, or kung ano pa man, or kung sino pa man, ano? Maybe sa ngayon, you're going to join forces, no? Magtutulungan kayo para ma-achieve din yung kung ano man ang gusto ninyong ma-achieve. Magtutulungan kayo para mas maging maganda ang inyong relationship. Yung mga ganun ba, no? Uh, this could also be union ninyo uh, with unseen allies, no? Yung, yung spirit team, yung, uh, siguro you're also developing a, a more a deeper uh, relationship with God, with your with uh, your angels and your spirit guides. So, possible ang ganun din ang ganap. You have seen and unseen allies draw upon their strength, join forces with friends and flourish. Ayan. So, parang may ano dito, may partnership talaga. Meron ditong join force, um, merong partnership, merong collaboration, merong pagtutulungan, no? Uh, between you and someone, between you and God, between you and uh, your spirit team. Dahil totoo din naman, uh, Taurus, no, na lahat naman kasi nang nangyayari sa buhay natin, you are co-creating that with God. Kung ano man ang realidad na nakikita ninyo, nararanasan ninyo, na i-experience ninyo sa inyong 3D reality, you have co-created that with the divine. Hindi lang kayong mag-isa ang gumawa niya. No? Hindi lang din ang Panginoon ang gumawa niya para sa inyo. Uh, you also have a uh, 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 parte dyan sa kung ano man ang naging realidad ninyo. We are co-creating our reality with God. Lagi nating tatandaan yan. So, clarity. Maybe you are in need of clarity. Maybe merong mga emotional turmoil ang iba sa inyo dito. Merong un unclear thinking, muddled mind siguro ang nararanasan ng iba. Kaya nga siguro kailangan ninyo na hanapin ninyo ang inyong sacred space. Mag-create kayo ng sacred space within yourself para kayo ay makalma, makapagmuni-muni, makapag-isip because maybe you need some kind of clarity and enlightenment at this time. No? Uh, kaya, kailangan ninyo na uh, mahanap ang truth no? ng inyong sitwasyon, ang heart ng inyong sitwasyon. So, sabi dito, banish the fog of illusion, open your eyes to the truth, Remember the perfection of who you are. Ayan. So, siguro, related ito si clarity dito sa metamorphosis. Now, you are finding the truth within yourself. Kaya, magbabago kayo. You're going to evolve into the best version of yourself. Dahil nakikita nyo na, alam nyo na kung anong babaguhin ninyo sa sarili ninyo or kung ano yung gusto ninyong mangyaring pagbabago sa sarili ninyo. So, what else? We have gentleness. Ayan. So, gentle lang ang approach ninyo sa lahat ng pagbabagong ito, sa lahat ng mga pangyayaring ito. No? Hindi kailangan mag-rush, hindi kailangan mag magmadali, hindi kailangan pwersahin yung gano'n. No? Uh, be gentle, gamitin ninyo ang, ang pagiging compassionate ninyo. Be compassionate with yourself as well. Uh, ang napipick up po kasi dito, yung, it's all about you. No? Kung ano man ang focus ninyo sa ngayon, parang it's all about you na gusto ninyong maging mabuti, mas maging mabuti, mas maging maganda 
ang pag ang sarili ninyo, ang pagkatao ninyo, ang nararamdaman ninyo is all about you, no? So parang there is so much self-love dito na nararamdaman ng iba sa inyo, Taurus. Parang you're going to ano, to evolve talaga into the best version of yourself sa ngayon and you want to create something beautiful within you. Parang gusto ninyo magkaroon ng magandang pagbabago ang entire life ninyo and you're going to start that by transforming yourself. Parang gusto ninyo magsimula muna yung pagbabago within yourself on a personal level, no? So, ano man ang gagawin ninyo sa ngayon, be gentle to yourself, okay? Uh, be loving and uh, yung, be compassionate no, sa sarili ninyo. Sabi dito, strength is gentle, true kindness has wings, love in action endures. So, good luck, Taurus, and that's all I have for you for today. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste.